Right, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the equation 5x minus 9 equals 26. Now when I say solve, we need to find x, which is our variable we call it. It's also called an unknown. So to solve the unknown, the first thing we do is we start off with that very same thing. We start off with the x. Usually it might be a y, x, t, m, any letter it could be or anything else to represent it. What we do so we draw an arrow across there and we first try to figure out what's happening to the x. So, the first thing happening to the x in this equation is that it's being multiplied by 5. Yeah? After that, the next thing happening, according to this equation, is we're taking away 9. And at the end of that, again, referring back to the equation, we end up with an answer of 26. Now all I've done there, in that row, is I've written out the equation again in a flowchart. That's all. Now we're actually going to get down to solving it. So we're going to start off with our 26, and we're going to work our way backwards this time towards the answer. Using the flowchart above. So, instead of taking away 9, this time we're way back, we're going to do the exact opposite. So we're going to add 9 there. And what I like to do, is I like to work that out, 26 plus 9, 35, and I like to put it there, and don't forget about it. Next, instead of times in by 5, we're going to divide by 5, and what that does is, get us our answer, so 35 divided by 5 gives us 7. Now the most important part that people usually forget is actually writing their answer out. x is equal to 7, and that's how you solve an equation.